This morning on today's health, it's National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day. It is important to store our medicine safely, as we all know, and to know when to toss anything that's expired or gone bad. So we brought in Dr. Jen Cottle, family medicine physician and associate professor at Rowan University with a reminder for all of us. Dr. Cottle, good morning to you. Good to see you. So let's dig right in here. First yes. of all, we're going to start cleaning. What do we need to check for just right out of the gate? Okay, first thing you want to make sure is check your medicines about every three to six months. Make sure that they have not gone bad, but also check for things like changing color, a change mm. in odor, or changing consistency. Things like with gels or liquids. If they, okay. any of this has happened, okay. get rid of it. Okay, and let's talk about expiration dates. I've always wondered, let's say Tylenol. Yes. yes like yes, how yes. many months off? How, many, you know, how long can you push it? So this is the thing. I don't recommend pushing it at, at all. all. I don't. A couple months? I, still I, no? I don't. Can you? This is why. Because I can't, you know, the, the FDA with the expiration date is guaranteeing that under ideal circumstances, that medicine is safe and effective up to that date. After that date, we can't mm. say. So it could become less effective. Okay. You might actually be at risk for the medicine becoming bacterial contaminated, mm. um, could lead to illness. There could be risks. So, so it's just not even worth it. It's not worth okay. it. Run no. to the pharmacy and get a new one. That's All right. right. That's right. So when we do know it's time to discard some of these medications, do you like give them back to the doctor? Can you just toss them in the trash? I love that. Okay. You can, you can give them back to your pharmacist. Many pharmacists will take them back. They're also national drug take back days. Mm. But for many uh, medications that are able to be thrown in a way, you mix your medications with an undesirable substance like dirt or coffee grounds, mm. put it in a plastic bag, throw that bag away in the trash, and then you also want to mark out your name and information on Good the point. pill bottle, okay? Okay. And some drugs actually can be flushed, by the way. There are some drugs that are safer to be flushed than they are to be thrown tossed. in the trash. You can okay. check the FDA list for that, yes. Okay, and then you say yeah. repurpose the bottles. Yes. Oh my gosh, I love repurposing <laughs> bottles. So these are actually some of my medicine bottles. You see, you just cross out your name, okay? For example, mm -hmm. this is one we got here. Just for privacy, I, right? Yeah, I literally use these for toothbrushes. This is I keep paper clips in mm -hmm. these bottles. We got bobby bobby pins too. Mm -hmm. Reuse them. Don't just yeah. throw them out. And and also, I actually found a great way to remove the label so it doesn't get all messy. Mm -hmm. Get a hair dryer, a blow dryer, oh. blow dry just that label, that glue and it can bit. melt it right off. That's yeah. perfect. I know. I love it. Okay. Love so it. when it does, when it comes to storage, where yes. is the proper place to store? It is not in your medicine cabinet <laughs> in the bathroom. There's humidity. There is heat. There is moisture. Mm -hmm. It can make your meds go bad. So you want to keep your medications in the original containers. Don't take the meds out of the bottles because that keeps them safe. Keeps kids, babies, True. dogs out of them, pets, etc. Keep them locked away because, again, mm -hmm. you want them safe. Keep them in a cool place. So that means like in a container. We have actually, this is a great example of a mm -hmm. container that we have here. Um, keep it in a closet. You can keep it in the kitchen just away from heat and okay. away from water. But not the medicine cabinet and not in the bathroom. The worst place to keep yes, it. Yes, yes. Okay. Not good. Doctor, um, go ahead. Yeah, no, this what I was going to say because this I like this container mm -hmm. a lot. So you got everything you need. Yes. In fact, we've got uh, I've got stuff for like stomach and stuff. I've got others for pains, aches and pains. Oh, you keep and them I, organized. Yeah, I keep by them organized container. in these up on the top shelf in my pantry. Oh my gosh, you're you're kitchen. like the rock star. You, well, you are, just, this is... I've got time. I got no kids at home. I got, I got all the time in the world. I got a time machine. I love okay, that. Okay, so what are some of the things we need to have in our supplies? Yes. Okay, so I love these items just for having at home. Acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol, ibuprofen. You may know that as Motrin, etc. Diphenhydramine, this is like Benadryl, basically. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's what that is. So if you got an allergic reaction, itching, hydrocortisone cream, that's like a cortisone cream, good mm -hmm. for itching. Calamine lotion, good for poison ivy, petroleum jelly, good for so many things. Right. And then saline solution is great for washing things out, like if you get a cut or something. And then some medical supplies. Yeah, okay, so I love this. you got to have a thermometer, okay? Right. I didn't have one for years, and I'm a doctor. It's mm -hmm. not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Digital thermometer. Tweezers, if mm -hmm. you got to pull something out of a cut. I what's love... The, what's the, the, okay. the Hey, I know it's unexpected, but this is the thing. I'm a family doctor. If a uh, patient is calling me saying they got a rash or a lesion, I want to know how big it is. Oh wow! Oh. So if you don't, if you're not able to estimate size, mm -hmm. okay, get a tape measure. We got our band aids, some gauze, and uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, this is something I think every household oh, should have. Pill a splitter? pill, pill cutter. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because if you have to cut pills, mm -hmm. um, doing it this way is the best. And a cold pack. Cold oh. packs is great, and then we've got lots of creams and ointments. Oh, so many good things. Wow. So many good <laughs> things. Dr. Jill, oh, oh, I, I do. I get so excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.